Hello everyone and welcome. My name is Eric. Um, as the title says, uh, this, these are experimental bracket um, wheel holders for the transom wheels that are experimental. Uh, they're not for sale, so don't ask for these as of yet. But check this out. This is what the guys at Boast to Go are be coming up with. They sent me these wheels. Let me show you. These are the uh, transom wheels. They sent me a while back. They have two little holes. And this one has one long slot like this, right? Now, check this out. If I wanted to bring this wheel down, I'll take one of the pins out. One second. I'm using the wrong, sorry. I'm supposed to use these pins. Sorry, I'm using the wrong ones. One moment, hold on tight. Let me go ahead and get the regular ones. There we go. There we go. Okay, so. Uh, then you go ahead and put the other pin at the bottom. And that's pretty much it. You can just take one pin out, pull wheel up, pull wheel down. It's completely up to you. The idea of the new brackets is that instead of having to use two pins, you only need one. You remember that has that one long slot? The pin goes in the middle of this bracket, proprietary of the boats to go, they, they have them. Go all the way down, you push it on the water, and with the water and the wheels, it should push the wheel up and lock in place, see? I think it's a fantastic, clever idea, inexpensive, high quality, which means it will be affordable, which is, that's the plan. I think it's a fantastic idea. Uh, <clears throat> you only, you only, you only gotta need one pin. You don't have to take it out all the time when you need to put the wheels up and down. However, there are a few flaws, and let me explain. You guys, you guys see this space down here? Let me show you. The, di the diameter of these wheels are roughly, let's see. So, uh, you're looking at about 13 inches. These wheels are about 13 inches, which equals about six and a half inches from one side to the other. Here is the problem. This bottom part, I only have about, Yeah, this is when the wheels go up, either by the pressure on the ground or the water. It only gives me clearance about four inches. I only get about four inches of clearance, and I'm gonna need six and a half if I want to use these two. So again, this is also one of the reasons I'm making this video. They asked me to experiment, to try it. All I'm doing is bring you guys along, like I mentioned. So what I would think to make these work if if they plan to keep these 13 inch wheel diameter wheels, they will have to either make this tube longer, about maybe, it's four inches, two and a half, I will say three inches to be safe. Making this tube about three inches longer. From here down, about three inches longer will probably work best. That'll be my the number one flaw that I noticed. Uh, and it also depends on what kind of uh, transom you have. If your transom is bigger or smaller, it all depends. But I say, since they're going to make it most like a universal for the majority of all their models, I will say to make it three inches longer for every single one, and that'll do it. The other choice will be to make a four inch diameter wheel. <laughs> keep, it, keep this the same and come up with a smaller wheel, but I don't know. That, that'll defeat the purpose because you want clearance, you know, that's the idea. You bring the boat with you, especially when I go camping. I usually bring the boat with me right next to my uh, tent and that's that's the that's the coolness of this, you know, that's, that's why it's cool. The other one will be, I'm not sure to what extent this can be done, but I will say that there's a whole lot of rattle. Look at this, see? Compared to using the two pins, 
there's very little to no rattle at all. I mean, there's always gonna be a little bit of rattle, but it is far more stable. And I think, and this is my own opinion, we, don't, we, we probably don't have to change too much. I will say to change the diameter over the slot goes in, that will mean that it'll have to be more precise to the size of these pins, to the ones that come with the uh, with these brackets. Here we go, that one. If there will be a way to make this more precise, that might be a way to actually prevent it, but that also means that it might, they may cause more wear and tear over time. So there's, there's a lot of things we have to consider here. A lot of things. So yeah. So far, the cons that they have, again, not for sale, this is just an experiment. I think it's fantastic. It's a fantastic idea. Bam, you know, you put your wheels up, you're done. The pressure of the gravity will push it up or the water with the wheels, you know, back in place. I think it's great. So, two main things. We have to, we're gonna have to make these tubes a little longer. And if, if it's possible to find a way that whenever it goes into place, it doesn't rattle so much. You know what, can, what we can also do, I'm thinking, it doesn't have to be extreme. Some kind of rubber layering in the back of this bracket and onto the sides. Some kind of rubber I don't know, layering, perhaps that'll be one way. Um, making the holes more precise and more in tune to these pins. I think they got the right idea. I like it. I like it. I like it. it the, the, the other reasons I don't mind putting my name in my face on both to go and Saturns in general is because they're always sticking innovating and they're also keeping the consumer in mind. Mind you. You want to get a regular of these boats, for example, like Sea Eagles and all that? Something like this. This is my CK380. Will cost you easy two or three grand. See what I mean? Well, this one, being almost equal quality, will cost you maybe 1100 Probably not even that. I think they have them special right now. It's just that um, they're always thinking about the consumer coming up with durable, innovative ideas that won't break the bank. I mean, it's like owning a Toyota. I own a Toyota, for, as a matter of fact. Lexus RX 450 is a hybrid. It's been, it, picture a big Prius. That's basically what I currently have. Uh, when you think about it, Toyotas are not that expensive compared to like major other other bigger brands, but they're reliable. They go bang every time. They not be the most exciting in the world, but it gets the job done. <laughs> Little Saturns. That's what they are. Anyway, guys, thanks for watching. I appreciate it. I hope this information. Uh, the, the guys are supposed to go find, they find this uh, informative. Uh, ho hopefully you guys have any comments and ideas. You can put them below by all means. Because again, this is an experiment. Complete experiment. It's not for sale yet. Well, they're working on the kinks. I I'm just fortunate enough they included me to be the first one to try it and give them my opinion. Again, the rattle, if there's a way to fix it. And we're going to need either smaller wheels or longer tube. Three inches longer, give or take. See you guys on the next one. Later.